Hello everyone! First of all, thank you so much uh, for those of you who subscribe to my channel and watch the videos. I appreciate it so much. And for those of you who watched my very first video on how not to get the driver's license, I do have the great news for you. I finally did it. I got my driver's license. It's been already two months. I passed the test in May. Um, and already was driving in Tokyo outside so some of you were asking about the details on how much it cost so I decided I need to create this video uh, and uh, tell you more about the procedure and probably give some tips on uh, how to uh, pass the test and how to convert your national driver's license and for those of you who are cool enough to watch till the end of the video I'll have the answer to the question I asked at the very first video what does the universe try to tell me so I do have the answer and for those of you who will watch till the end I'll answer this question and <laughs> funny enough I was imagining myself shooting this video while driving a Ferrari or I don't know something else uh, you know I watch so many videos on YouTube when people you know drive and talk about whatever they talk but yes anyway I'm not driving a Ferrari today next time uh, but today let's talk about how to convert your national driver's license if you're a resident in Japan if you're uh, working here you're on working visa or I don't know about other visas mm, uh, you need to convert your national driver's license you're not able to drive without converting them uh, and there are there is a list of countries that are lucky enough um, to have this super easy procedure you just go to the driver's license center uh, picking up all the necessary documents and i think it takes like one day or something just to um, just to convert them so for me and for a bunch of other countries the procedure is more complicated so what it takes the very first step is you need to take your national driver's license you need to translate them uh, into japanese go to your embassy at the embassy they do the verification that the translation is right then you need to go to your kuyakusho which is word office and pick up Juminho. Juminho is uh, a paper that where there is the address like it's like this. Then the application form they give you over there, your passport. I don't remember if I actually I think do you need the passport? But, well looks like you need but better to take it, yeah. Then you go to the depending on where you are living you have your own driver's license center um in case of tokyo it's samezu it is uh, the driver's license center in shinagawa area the closest station is either samezu or oemachi there is one more uh, driver's license center it's in fuchu and you also can apply over there but it's just more far from tokyo and more complicated to uh, to get there for me personally so uh, Samezu is the easiest one, the easiest access. And what you do is you go to the um, driver's license center, which opens at eight. It is better, believe me, it is better to get to go there like at eight, especially if you work, because it takes a lot of time to check all of the documents, the queues. Uh, the queue is uh, huge and so it just takes a lot of time so better to go as, er as early as you can and they also have the lunch break from 12 to 1 in Samezo it's the second canal it's sun it's sun sorry it's third floor and um, you take um, you go there you give all the documents, they check if you have all the documents and then they ask you to wait. They ask you to wait a bit 
not a bit actually. <laughs> they ask you to wait and then it's not a bit. It's better like to hold either uh, a notebook with you or some book, something to read, something to do, I don't know, knitting, uh, whatever you want to hold with you. Because it takes like one, even more than one hour. They do have um, a lunch room over there so you can drink coffee or eat something. But it does take time, so better to be prepared. So they check all the documents. Uh, if it's all fine, uh, you need to go and check your uh, eyes. If you're wearing eyeglasses or not, or contact lenses. So you go on the second floor and then you need to take a photo. You can also make it, uh, you can also do it on the first floor. And at the same day, for those of you who need to convert and pass through the, and go through the test, the written test is preceded the same time. The same time you apply uh, with all your documents, the same time you go through the written test. The questions are uh, pretty easy, so you just take these 10 questions and they are available in uh, a lot of languages. So I was taking in Russian, so they did have the translation, which is super convenient. If you pass, then you... <laughs> that's when the fun starts you go and reserve the driver's license test and usually from the day of the application it takes at least two weeks or I it two weeks is like you are lucky at least one month till the driver's license test so you have to wait <laughs> times are available you either take the test early in the morning at 8 30 or lunchtime around 1 a.m i never took the lunch time so i was always uh, taking the morning time you need to pay 2200 yen um, how do they do that like all this all these vloggers just talking and talking to us so now about how to pass the driver's license test. I thought and everybody told me that it is super easy to you know to pass uh, this driver's license test because it's just an internal course, you don't have to drive outside. With the very first try, <laughs> it's like, it's and uh, that's apparently what happens to me, to most, to most of the foreigners trying to convert a driver's license. You are driving uh, at some Azo Honda Civic, and uh, at the like in the Japanese cars, the uh, turn indicators and uh, the <laughs> the wipers are vice versa, conver uh, comparing to the European cars, and. Uh, <laughs> Most of the people, instead of um, turning on the turning indicator, uh, they turn on the wipers. So that's what happened to a friend of mine. She was like, <laughs> every time she wanted to turn, she just <laughs> she turned on the wipers. I did it also. The instructors, they hate that, but I think they just used to it and that everybody's doing that. <laughs> everybody's doing that, but it's just super funny, you know? For them not, definitely. I was practicing outside with friends of mine and it was helpful but not <laughs> um, not enough to pass the test because only at the driving school they gave me the tips and the points, you know, like small things that the instructors are checking while you're driving. Um, and apparently all these uh, instructors at the driver's license center, they do really like and they, for sure, they noticed uh, if you uh, went to the school, if you took some classes, they do notice that because there are some, some like some small points there, not small actually, but well, there are, and they do like that, and 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 it might help eventually. Uh, the course is called paper driving, so you just go to the school, uh, you pay the entrance fee. And then you just pay for the classes, like if you take one, two, three. Uh, so at the school, what are the important things and points you need to pay attention to? First of all, driving, you need to drive slowly. 
no need to hurry up just calm down slowly especially when you turn everything slowly that's the first thing second thing when every time you turn there is a mantra you need to remember you need to check the mirrors all the time in that order back mirror side mirrors blind spots three 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 things every time if you do that instructors will notice 400 percent s curve the thing is which i didn't know and i found out it only at the driving school is my weak point was every time i enter the s curve and it is super narrow i uh, with a back tar i hit uh, the curb every time not every time but yeah a lot of times and also there is an l course also the narrow street and if you hit the there are poles there if you hit them it's immediately failed like you failed immediately but if you feel if you feel like you can adjust it is better to reverse to stop reverse adjust and continue going because it's just minus, minus points it's not a failure if you feel you need to adjust just reverse and adjust it is much better i didn't know that i thought like you 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 have to do it with the very first try no if you feel you hit the pole or like whatever just stop reverse adjust you will lose points but at least at least there is a chance you'll pass so yeah that's the thing and um, what they helped me with <laughs> the funny thing is that the driving school they not only helped me uh, with practically but also the interesting thing is with this s curve every time i uh, entered the s curve i would look uh, at the hood and the instructor every time they would be like don't look at the hood look where you turn look where you need to get and i was thinking that's a nice you know that's a nice motivational thing <laughs> don't you think so i thought that's a very nice tip for life you know when you when you need to achieve something stop looking like just in front of you stop looking at the hood just try to imagine not try to imagine but look at the direction of where you need to get I think that's the that's just the amazing life tip. So thanks for that also. And now the most the most exciting part for me, the answer is about the universe and other blah 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 about life, you know. Uh, and I'm very curious to know what you think about that. So this experience of eight time fails gave me so much i mean this is a, of course this is a funny thing of course this is not um something life-changing uh, i mean that's not a big deal this is just driver like just driving driver's license right but this experience and I hate failures, you know, like I hate to hear like you fail, you fail, you, I, I hate that, I don't like that. But with the first time was fun, second was like, okay, third was like, what? Fourth was like, no, fifth was like, what? The f so every time I failed, I was questioning myself, why, why, why? And the first thing, if you have a target, whatever it is i'm not speaking only about driving driver's license i'm speaking about everything uh, everything in life what this experience gave to me i mean if you have a goal and you fail and you fail and you fail to get it first of all try to adjust your strategy so my strategy was uh, to have fun to have fun to have it didn't work so I realized I need to practice. I practiced with friends of mine. It didn't work. Uh, so I thought, okay, driving school, let's try this. It worked. It worked in terms of skills for uh, narrow streets. Uh, 
And after the school, I was trying and trying again. But I'm just saying that when you know your goal, then you know your target, you adjust your strategy, and no matter how much time it takes, you just try and try again and try again and take another appointment and take another appointment. And here where I answer my question from the first video, what does the universe try to say? <sighs> and I will even stop. The universe, guys, the universe doesn't care if you continue taking the appointments, if you quit, the universe doesn't care. And no one cares. My parents, I asked them also, they was like, do you need them? Just give up. They don't really care. My friends who just laugh on me, I mean, yeah, it was funny, but they don't care for sure. And this is absolutely, absolutely normal. The only person who needs to care is you. Super easy, right? I mean, this answer is just super easy. Whenever decision is, nobody cares but you. If you decide you need to get there, you try and try and try and try and try and try. If you decide you quit, you don't get it. That's it. Full stop. Nobody cares. Nobody cares of your goals. Nobody cares of your need. Nobody. Honestly, that's only your responsibility and only your decision. And if you need it, and it worked so well for me mentally because with this experience i realized really i i knew my goal to get the to convert the driver's license right i didn't care about the time i just knew i will i will keep on i even didn't have a thought in my head that i will quit i will stop because i didn't have this thought i knew i need to get there i need to get the driver's license that's all that i knew no matter what it takes me no matter how much time no matter what, if I need to practice more, if I need to practice with my friends, if I, I, I was thinking about, you know, some tricky things like to pass, uh, to go not to Samezu, but maybe to try Fuchu, uh, maybe to, I don't know, hik make Hikoshi, like to move to another prefecture and try uh, the other prefectures, driver, driver's license centers, because apparently it's not that many people there and it takes less time. So I was already thinking like, but I was thinking about changing the strategy, not, not quitting, but changing the strategy. But the easy thing, the, the fine, not easy. I mean, the, yeah, it's like, atarimaya. what's it in English? Um, the obvious thing is, if you need to get something, try again, try again, try again, try again, try again, and that's it. That's how it works and nobody cares but you because this is your life. Para para pam boom. The result of the exam, the yellow card means you fail. And that's what I got eight times. And there is pin card that says you pass. It was twenty people and two of us just just two of us passed me and another girl from India. If you pass, you go back to the room, you wait for the instructors, then they uh, bring you to the um, place where they receive all the documents. They again check all the documents, la la la. Then you pay 2,500 yen, I think 2,500 yen, uh, for your driver's license. And you again wait. I was lucky to wait not that long, like it took me like 40 minutes or something to wait for the driver's license to pick, uh, to be ready it usually takes more time yeah I hope this video was uh, useful I'm really curious to know what you think about all my philosophical talks 
if you were able to watch till the end thank you so much thank you for watching thank you for uh thank you everyone who subscribed if you have any questions whatever it is about how to convert your driver's license please uh, leave a comment below and thank you so much for watching bye bye